Hi there. Uh, today we are going to discuss some IELTS topics we are gonna encounter in the real test. So the first topic today was to discuss was to uh, was to discuss the mercury. So mercury is kind of a very familiar substance we have known quite a long time ago. Uh, it is often seen in some old-fashioned thermometer. While uh, in recent days we have abandoned those old-fashioned thermometer, we try to use more about the electronic thermometer because it is more safe. That actually reflects some characteristics of the Hg is very toxic. So, but it is often can be found on some coal. Uh, coal when it, the coal was burned. In the factory, there are some left substances that is uh, dissolve in our atmosphere, which cause the Hg. So the Hg will be deposited in a lake or river, and then when the fish eat the eat a Hg, that the fish are high are likely to be infected or contaminated by the Hg. And when some birds ate the fish, those birds could be contaminated the Hg too. So that's how Hg entered into the food chain. And if some hunters, like our human beings, hunt some a bird, migratory birds like ducks, then possibly the Hg would enter our human bodies too. So here we analyze some NHG negative effect on the birds first. So there is a lot of studies showed that the HG will infect the birds' mental development. Uh, we we can see that on the bird study showed that the birds learn their song from the song produced by their father, and. And what make HG uh, have a negative impact on their behavior and mental development stage? Because if the birds get exposed to the HG, he it is less likely to learn a complex song as their peers, as their uh, as their fellow birds. So that it means that they has less. Possibility to have uh, has has less, has less opportunity to be get a reproduction chance than their peers because they are less attractive than their counterparts. So that's mostly like that. And about the Hg problem, I should uh, I should. I should answer to uh, because there are some huge fee on uh, some regulations have been implanted on the on our human everyday energy cost and some skepticisms argued that it might be cost as a huge price to fix that HG excretion problem but I think it's worthwhile doing that because if the environment was totally contaminated by the Hg, the final victim would be the human beings. So that's my discussion today. So we gonna continue another topic. It's the meat processing plant. As we seen, we've seen today, there are a lot of meat processing plant. They scale down their operation schedule or reduce their working shift to from two to one shift per day because the COVID-19 that out, that where outbreaks into that processing plant so that's quite a huge problem because it will cause the cause some meat rate increased in a short term but at the same time, that this meat meat processing plant would be 
a disaster for some workers worked there because the atmosphere and the working condition there was elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder. At the same time, the working environment, working temperature there is like very cold, so it's a very ideal habitat for some deadly virus like the COVID-19. So that's the reason why there are so much workers are prone to get infected in those working environments. So that's raised a question that some scientists or some researchers found that it may be beneficial to develop a micro industry in those factory. That means break down the big in factory into some small players, uh, which makes them quite flexible to these volatile situations. Uh, like there are, there are many examples like the microbrewery that uh, some uh, medium or small size sort of brewery shop owner they fo emphasize on the flavor and the brewing techniques and the texture of their products the big company of the brewery uh, the, the big company is very efficient they may provide good welfare to the animals and they are cost they are cost efficient they doing jobs quite well but they also uh, it is very fragile to these circumstances because there are wars there are uh, wars wars uh, disease and the storm natural some something like the natural disaster will make them very vulnerable to any changes so i think uh, the small players in the industry would be quite flexible to these situations that some scientists recommend the, uh, we can break down the big company into a small one like some micro port industry they try to they try to supply some special parts of the port like special part of the cattle to be sent to Japan, they are charged a huge price too. Uh, that I think this cut the big company into small is a very good remedy to the. Uh, it's a very good substitute for the automation because of the variability of the animal biological parts. There are. It is less likely to implement the automation technology into the meat processing plant based on the biology variation into the animal parts. So it's better to cut the big meat processing plant into the small one. So that's my sharing today. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye.